is up you guys welcome back to another one if you went into the channel i am gold pony i do new car truck suv reviews on youtube and today we are in the new 2021 alfa romeo stelvio courtesy of faulkner maserati alfa romeo in mechanicsburg pa for more information on their inventory please feel free to check out the link in the description box below and so i am in this one today because i have yet to review the stelvio and this is an SUV world and this is an SUV. So I'm quite excited for this one. Named after that extremely curvy road, of course, in the Italian Alps, very good looking SUV. There is actually a new trim level for the 2021 model year as well. And this should be a very fun drive. And so in this video, I will be testing out and going over everything about this one from acceleration to braking, steering feel, ride quality, sound system, exhaust clip, all that fun stuff. So having said all of that, what do you guys say? Let's just go ahead and jump right into it. And as always, let's start with pricing and so like I said there are a few different trim levels for the 2021 Stelvio first one being the Sprint which is the new trim level for the 2021 model year that is going to start at $41,750 then there is the TI all-wheel drive for $47,400 TI Sport all-wheel drive for $50,600 then there is the Quadrifoglio all-wheel drive that one is going to start at $81,050 and by the way all of those trim levels but that Sprint the first one is going to to come with all-wheel drive if you wanted to add all-wheel drive to the sprint you can just simply add two thousand dollars to that price there but as you can imagine with all those trim levels there are a couple different engine configurations that are available for this one. First one belonging to the sprint and ti trims that is going to be a two liter turbocharged inline four cylinder putting out 280 horsepower at 5200 rpm 306 pound feet of torque coming in at 2000 rpm power sent to rear wheels or all wheels through an eight speed automatic giving you zero to 60 time coming in at approximately 6.8 seconds with mpg numbers coming in at 22 in the city 29 on the highway for the rear wheel drive 22 city 28 then on the highway for the all-wheel drive configuration but then like i said there is the more punchy more sporty trim level called the quadrifoglio that one is going to be a 2.9 liter twin turbo v6 that one puts out 505 horsepower at 6500 rpm 443 pound feet of torque coming in at 2500 rpm power sent to all four wheels through an eight speed automatic with paddle shifters zero to 60 time for that suv comes in at 3.3 seconds that is super car quick in an suv i absolutely love that with mpg numbers coming in at 17 in the city 23 in the highway taking premium unleaded fuel and so before we do any kind of fun acceleration test in this one i did want to mention there are of course some drive modes that come standard and that drive mode circular dial is located just behind the shifter that will say dna on it it stands for dynamic natural and all weather adjusting things like the shift points throttle response steering sensitivity essentially things like that so so having now got all of that out of the way, what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and find it straight away. Let's put this thing to the test and let's see how quickly our new Stelvio here can get us up to speed. All right, I do believe we have found it straight away here in three, two, one. <laughs> These headrests are like pillows. <laughs> plenty of an acceleration for any SUV quite honestly but like I said these headrests are literally pillows you hit the gas it pins your head in the back of the headrest and dang is it worth it because you could easily just take a big old nap <laughs> I'm just kidding you guys but still plenty of an acceleration you're absolutely not gonna have any issues in merging onto the highway that was definitely quite fun these headrests make it all that much better but anyways to go along with that acceleration as always braking is equally important and so up front you will find 13 inch ventilated brembo front discs in the back 12.5 inch rear disc as far as that braking feel goes as we are coming up to a turn here it is perfectly fine instantly brings you to a stop so definitely no issues with the braking feel whatsoever and by the way that is because there is a 60 to 0 stopping distance number that comes in at 108 feet for the quadrifolio at least for this one of course it's going to be a little bit higher but still no issues with the braking feel whatsoever but then touching on suspension and handling independent front and rear suspension as you can imagine adaptive damping suspension though as well and that is what i want to emphasize because that really does give you the best of both worlds not only is it going to tighten up the suspension during heavy cornering but it is also going to adjust to the road imperfections giving you a much smoother ride then as well so love that the stelvio does come with that adaptive damping suspension that is 
definitely one you want to see on a vehicle like this to be quite honest but so to go along with that i did want to also mention limited slip differential for the ti sport and of course quadrifolio as well we do have the ti today so we don't have that but i did want to mention in case you wanted to go that route essentially that sends torque to the wheel with the most traction giving you a little better handling a little better acceleration so that's what that one is for but as far as ride quality goes i will say it's uh it's it's fine this is more of a performance suv so you do feel a little bit more of the road compared to some of its competitors but it is perfectly fine so no issue for me as far as steering feel goes i'm still in that dynamic driving mode right now i will say it is a heavier weight in that driving mode which is a good thing it better helps point you in the direction that you want to go so steering feel is definitely more than enough perfectly fine for the stelvio suv here as far as cabin noise goes i mean i'm getting a little of that exhaust note which i absolutely love and we'll get to that exhaust clip a little later in the video don't worry about that you guys but other than that there isn't a whole lot of exterior wind noise coming into the cabin so that is absolutely wonderful i'm a big fan of that so cabin the noise is definitely on point as far as visibility goes and because of its shape it is a little bit narrower than some of the competition but still having said that it's something you get used to absolutely no issues for me at least and again it's something that you're going to get used to so no issues with visibility for me and i did also want to mention rain sensing windshield wipers do come standard on the stelvio as well essentially what that is is whenever this thing detects any kind of mist or rainfall it's going to automatically turn on those windshield wipers for you so essentially it's just one last thing you got to worry about so that is very nice as well but that about rounds out the performance segment of this review you guys let's still go ahead and take a look at the exterior of our brand new 2021 Alfa Romeo Stelvio. All right, so here she is, you guys, the new 2021 Alfa Romeo Stelvio, finished in Misano Blue Metallic. In case anybody was curious of our amazing exterior color name here. Let's go ahead and start up front on this one. Of course, you have that Alfa Romeo signature front grille that looks so dang good and instantly recognizable wherever you go, so you gotta love that. To the sides, by Xenon HID headlights do come standard, and they will come with the automatic feature, of course, meaning when it starts to get dark and at night, those headlights are going to turn on automatically for you there led signature daytime running lights also coming standard of course and they look dang good on the stelvio i'll definitely say that and again instantly identifiable front end without a doubt and definitely something that'll turn some heads but anyways let's now go ahead and make our way to the side of the stelvio so but now since we are around the side of this one roof rails do come standard they will either come in gloss black or aluminum depending upon which configuration that you go with of course rear privacy glass also coming standard gloss black window surrounds or aluminum window surrounds like you guys are currently looking at of course when it comes to those side mirrors they are power adjustable heated side mirrors they will be auto dimming for every single trim level and you guys can see those integrated turret signals also coming standard within them as well one of my favorite parts about the stelvio here though is that so many suvs right now these days are coming with matte black fender wells and also matte black side skirts but with the stelvio that is of course not the case you're getting body colored accents all the way around which gives it so much more of a high-end look and i absolutely love it so well done alfa romeo for making those body colored rather than matte black nobody really wants to see that so anyways good job then take a look down at the wheel setup 18 by 8 inch dark five spoke aluminum alloys coming with the sprint then if you were to jump up to either of the ti trim levels you will get 20 by 8.5 inch aluminum alloys and with the quadrifolio 20 by 9 inches up front 20 by 10 inches in the back and that trim level of course will get that clover badging found on the front fender then as well which of course makes it instantly recognizable that there is something super powerful under the hood but now Let's go ahead and make our way to the back of this one. So this back end, I think may be my favorite part. All the way to the top, you do have that gloss black shark fin antenna, just below that rear spoiler with an integrated brake light, just below that rear window wiper. And of course, LED tail lights do come standard on this one. The Q4 badging, that's gonna essentially mean that you got all wheel drive. Of course, you got the Stelvio badging as well, but just below it all, this is my favorite part because you guys know I loved exposed exhaust outlets because so many manufacturers are tucking them away these days. But they are not only exposed here on the Stelvio, but they are integrated into the rear bumper, which is my very favorite configuration when it comes to exhaust outlets. And they are absolutely massive with the chrome finish. So having said all of that, I do believe you guys know what we have to do next. As always, here is that exhaust clip.
Alright, so now since we are around back of the Stelvio, when it comes to opening that rear tailgate, it is a power tailgate that does come standard. Once opened up, cargo capacity comes in at 18.5 cubic feet. If that was not enough space, there is a 40-20-40 split, meaning the rear seats do fold down, bumping that up to 56.5 cubic feet. And by the way, there were a couple levers in the cargo area as well to go ahead and fold those rear seats down in case anybody was curious. But continuing on in the cargo area, there were actually dual LED cargo lights back there. A lot of times there'll be halogens and they'll just be one single light, but this one actually had dual lighting. And not only that, they were LEDs as well. So that was pretty cool. Tie down acres you can find back there, 12 volt power outlet, grocery bag hooks, and some in-floor storage back there then as well. But then making our way up to the rear legroom, that comes in at 31.9 inches. So on paper, not a whole lot of space, but I will say for reference, I mean even six feet tall. This is actually me sitting behind my own driving position and I actually had enough space back there. So regardless of the number, I still fit. And again, I'm six feet tall, so that was pretty nice. But rear center armrest with cup holders does come standard. Rear ventilation also standard. Dual rear USB charging ports back there as well. And you can find a little bit of storage just underneath of that too. So overall rear seats were actually plenty fine regardless of that number, but then Making our way up to the front seats, power adjustable front seats with power lumbar adjustments do come standard. Heated front seats coming with the TI trim level and up. You will find ventilated front seats are going to be optional across the board. Leather seating coming with the Sprint and TI trims. However, if you go with the Quadrifolio, you will get a suede leather combination. That suede leather is going to be optional on some of the other trims as well. But overall, seating was plenty comfortable, so definitely did not have any issues there. Taking a look at the steering wheel, it is tilt and telescoping and is leather wrapped with a flat bottom love that aspect of this this is such a sporty suv to drive definitely makes sense that alfa romeo would add a flat bottom steering wheel to this one then take a look at the startup let me first start by showing you guys the key here it is actually a very thick key you do have your uh, alfa romeo logo on the one side then when you flip it over lock unlock the button to pop the rear hatch and then that times two button is actually going to be a remote start so you can warm up the stelvio in super cold days in pennsylvania and therefore it's going to be all nice and warm when you actually get inside which is always nice but there is a push button start with keyless entry for every single trim level across the board and the best part about that one is it is actually located on the steering wheel that is so cool anyways i'm just going to put my foot on the brake and go ahead and press that start button located on the steering wheel and so but then once started up gauges will do a full sweep tachometer is on your left speedometer is on your right there is a digital display front and center to control what is on that digital display there are steering wheel mounted controls but i did want to mention plenty of information you can check out up there full digital speedometer is going to be located front and center is probably what i would leave it on you can also check out your driving modes up there and they will adjust color as well for example the d or dynamic is going to be the red the n is going to be blue and the a is going to be green in case anybody was curious you can also check out your outside temperature up there how many miles you have left until you hit empty and plenty of other information as well but pretty much everything you could possibly want up there so then making our way to overall interior quality if you wanted a power sunroof, simply go with the TI trim level and up. Dual zone climate control coming standard across the board. Auto dimming rear view mirror, also standard for every single trim level. Wireless phone charger, every single trim level will get that as well. And again, these may be the softest headrests in history I've ever experienced. Even with all the Mercedes and BMWs that I drive, Genesis included, they all have some very soft headrests, but I don't think they're quite as soft as the Alfa Romeo headrests here. So I actually loved that. That was super cool. But anyways, Wood trim accents also coming standard. Of course, you have dual cup holders, 12 volt power outlet, USB charging port. I love the Italian flag located behind the shifter as well. And by the way, in case anybody didn't know already, Alfa Romeo is an Italian brand, but I'm sure you guys probably already knew that already. Electromechanical parking brake also coming standard to them within the center armrest. There is a decent amount of storage with a phone charging port, auxiliary port, and USB charging ports then as well. So overall interior quality is plenty fine. Not the very most luxurious I've ever tested out there, but still it'll definitely get the job done. But now let's go ahead and take a look at the infotainment screen. 8.8 inch color touchscreen display does come standard Bluetooth and audio streaming coming with that. Android Auto Apple CarPlay, meaning if you have a smartphone, simply hook it up to the Stelvio here and you have free navigation displayed up there. Factory navigation system, climate control information, and your radio information as well is going to be up there. 
there. And by the way, when it comes to the sound systems, eight speakers is going to come with the Sprint TI and TI Sport, then 15 speakers for the Quadrifolio. And so therefore we do have that eight speaker sound system with us here today. So what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and turn on the radio, see what we got playing today. And let's test out the clarity of this one. <laughs> Definitely a ton of bass with that sound system. Absolutely wonderful. More than enough of a sound system for the Stelvio without a doubt. And so the last thing I wanted to mention to you guys on the infotainment screen is when you do put the Stelvio in reverse, you of course will find a rear view camera letting you know who or what is behind you, which is always is going to lead us into safety. And so front side, side curtain airbags do come standard. In the back, you're gonna have latch, AKA lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats, rear child door locks, tire pressure monitoring system, but also coming standard on every single trim level will include a forward collision mitigation system system and front and rear parking sensors then as well. And I did want to also mention there is an optional package called the Active Assist 2 package specifically for the TI that goes for $1,695. We did have that today. That is going to add a plethora of different safety features to what I already have mentioned as well. And that will include an infrared windshield auto dimming exterior mirrors, lane kip assist, automatic high beams with headlamp control, adaptive cruise control with stop and go, intelligent speed assist, a highway assist system, traffic sign recognition, traffic jam assist, driver attention alert, and active blind spot assist then as well. And so overall, when it comes to my final thoughts here of the Stelvio, this is a very quick SUV, especially for not being the Quadrifolio. If you went with that trim level, you essentially have a supercar in SUV form, but also great braking, of course. This is an iconic design as well. You can instantly recognize a Stelvio coming down the road. And if you don't recognize it, you're still gonna look at it because it is a very stunning design of this particular SUV, I'll say that. As far as room for improvement goes, the cargo space could be a little bit better. This is a smaller SUV, but it's pretty much as expected. Nobody is buying a Stelvio for the added cargo space. They're essentially buying this for a fun to drive SUV with a very iconic design and Italian flair, essentially. So, But that's really all I got for room for improvement. This is a very fun to drive SUV without a doubt. But so anyways, that is about it for this one, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to follow me on social media if you want to see what's coming next on the channel before it actually actually gets to YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe and the bell notification button if you're into new car reviews. That is what we do here on this channel after all. Do appreciate you guys watching more than you know, and I will see you guys all in the next video. Stay gold.